Well, good morning and happy Father's Day. It is Father's Day Sunday morning. Actually, it's not too much morning anymore. It's like 11 o'clock. And we're going to winch out a 38-foot uh, fifth-wheel trailer and the truck that uh, got it stuck. And it's out in some deep sand, which means I don't think I'll be able to get my tow truck to it. And uh, it's very heavy, so I don't think my Jeep will pull it out. So what's the solution to that? Oh, you load up the tow truck with the Jeep on the back. And since we're in sand, and I know someone's gonna say this, the tires are already aired down. So, luckily all my winches are remote control, so I can get them both rigged up how I want and uh, run both winches and both rigs at once and hopefully get this thing pulled out. So we're gonna head over there. We got about an hour drive to get to this thing and see what we can do to get it out of there. Change of plans. I'm not doing this by myself. Austin's coming with me. So as soon as he gets parked here, he'll hop in and, and we'll go get this thing. I forgot my dog. <laughs> Here's a shirt, you look like a bum. Oh, yeah, I've been wearing the same shirt for like three years. <laughs> I know, you don't change anything. <laughs> you ready to go? Yep. We got a 38 foot fifth wheel travel trailer. They got, fun. they got it stuck in the sand and then they unhooked the truck from it. Terrible idea. Yep, and it has a flat tire. Fine. Let's go get it. But I like your snack idea. Let's do that first. Yeah. Hey, Austin. What? We're getting fuel. Okay, so I guess they pulled in the driveway here, buried the truck here, and were able to get the truck disconnected and out of here through this. And now the trailer's stuck here. So we got to get that truck hooked back to this trailer where it won't go, and then pull it back through that way. Hopefully there's nothing in the ground over there, and then get it out the driveway. Think we got it? Yeah. Austin says yeah, so we're good. So we can bring it right back into here, but hopefully this isn't a septic tank lid. Go look and see if we can find an actual septic tank somewhere. Okay, so here's a septic tank in the back of the house. The leech lines look like they're out there, so we're going to be good pulling it back into here where we're looking. That hole made me nervous. Shit, I didn't even get any of that. Are you recording this time? Yes. So we just did a whole little thing here. <laughs> we got all done and Austin tells me he never pressed the cord. Oopsies. Good, good thing I brought a cameraman along. What are you doing under there? Hanging out in the shade? Yeah. I'm just hooking up a rope. I want to pull from the front axle because I don't trust trailers. Yeah. And the farther away I can get with my truck, stay nice and low to stay off all this. Yep. And then, uh, I'm pretty 
get back in there. Um, but I think with this rope, we could pull and put a bunch of tension on the rope, and as this comes back, the winch line won't go slack and tight and slack yep. tight over this. We can have a steady, constant pull whether this moves six inches or six feet. You're about the dirtiest I've ever seen you. I don't like to work hard. I think so. What do you think? Working so far. He ain't broke nothing yet. Give it time. Yeah, man. I'll grab that. It's on its own now. You want to air that tire up on that trailer? Okay. That's probably good. He didn't screw that up. Now let's see if he can mess up changing the tire. Uh oh. Where'd that go? <laughs> Why don't you just use a jack on the trailer? <laughs> it's right next to the tire. <laughs> so, I have a question. He just brought up down the jack over here. Will that jack pick that tire off the ground? So I don't have to jack it up with this. Let me pull the tire off the back. What do you think about that? Where is the tire? Ah, oh, shit, it's way over there. Is it? Yeah. Oh, it's one of these slag ones. It's not doing anything. There it goes. It stopped. Going in the dirt park to get it. So, is this the same look pattern as that one? Well, I hope so. What That's brand of trailer is this? <laughs> Mon Montana. Montana? Oh. Uh, I've had quite a few uh, Forest River travel trailers where they put the wrong load pattern jack on the trailer. It's heavy. You're pulling against the truck now. Yeah. Here. Oh. 
I'd say that's where the leak is coming from. Tip. When you lay these down in the sand, run them before you put it right here and it blows all the sand back in your face. Ask me how I know. Okay, that went pretty good. We got it out of there. And then now I'm pulling out of the driveway. Gonna hook back up to the Jeep, which it turns out we didn't even need. I thought we needed to pull the truck out into the middle here, but I was able to drive it. So we're gonna get hooked back up to it. Tow it home. And uh See what's next. Okay, we got to slow way down right here because we've decided that we need to be friends with this guy. Look at all that good stuff. Look just, at that little cab over at. there. Look at that little tow truck right there. Oh, I know. Cab so over. Bigger than this. Look at that thing. Yeah, look at the back of your head. There you go. Nice cab over back there. There's your little camper. Check out that four-door Ford right there. Oh, uh, yeah, look at that service truck. We need all of this. Yeah. Can we just buy the whole property? Should. Yeah. I wonder if we can write him a check right now. I mean, it's not going to be a good check, but we can write him a check. <laughs> yeah, write him when it bounces. <laughs> as long as he bounces before the check does. There's another tow truck right there. Oh, that's got the old home spoons on it. Uh-huh. Look at that thing, though. That went okay. too easy. Yeah. So, wait, we're not home yet, so. A lot could still go wrong. We got an hour drive home. Yeah. You know what did it? What? That yellow rope. I'm pretty sure it did. That's what made it happen was the yellow rope. No doubt about it. Made it, it easier. It did. It actually did help. I think having that constant pull did make it easy. I could just go easy with the truck. Well, and it was soft. Yeah. We can't cuss anymore. People get mad at us. Oh, yeah. yeah. So you could, uh, put a, you could put a beep there. I don't know how. <laughs> Otherwise, I would. So, yell at Austin, not me. He said it. Okay, we're heading home. That's it for this one. Unless something falls apart on the way home, that's it. We'll see you guys next time.